Praise Yahuwah. Reading the book of Enoch and we're on chapter 65. There's a point that we are trying to get to about how we're supposed to be living in these last days because it's hard to just change everything you grew up in, right? But America is the lie. And the real governing systems is a lie. And we are in the world, the world is going away to hell, is in the mouth of the dragon, but we shall not be devoured. To sum that up, all of the world's governing powers worship the devil. It is not for the most high. And all the people are as prey in the dragon's mouth about to be devoured up. But that's about to be fixed with some scripture. I hope I cleared that up. Um, reading Enoch 65. The vision of Noah. In those days, Noah saw that the earth became inclined. And that destruction approached. <clears throat> then he lifted up his feet. And went to the ends of the earth, to the dwelling of his great grandfather Enoch. And Enoch and Noah cried with a bitter voice, "Hear me, hear me, hear me!" Three times, and he said, "Tell me what is this transaction upon the earth? For the earth labor labors and is violently shaken. Surely I shall die with it." So Noah thought he was going to die with the earth, right? After this. There was a great perturbation on earth, and a voice was heard from heaven. I fell down on my face when my great-grandfather Enoch came and stood by me. He said to me, Why have you cried out to me with a bitter cry and lamentation? A commandment has gone forth from Yahuwah against those who dwell on the earth, that they may be destroyed. <coughs> For they know every secret of the angels, every oppressive and secret power of the devils, and every power of those who commit sorcery, as well as of those who make molten, molten, in the whole earth. How is silver produced from the dust of the earth? And how the earth does the drop exist? And how on the earth does the drop exist? For lead and tin are not produced from earth as the primary fountain of their production. There is an angel standing upon it and that angel struggles to prevail. So it says, lead and tin are not produced on the earth. There is a primary foundation as the primary foundation of their production. There is an angel standing upon it and that angel struggles to prevail. So lead, which we use in pencils, and tin, which our cans are made out of. Right? They do look a little odd. Anyways, afterwards, my great-grandfather Enoch seized me with his hand, raising me up <clears throat> and saying to me, Go, I have asked Yahuwah, Sevaioth, respecting this perturbation on earth, who replied on account of their impiety. So this is so it's telling us why the earth was destroyed in the flood. The fallen angels came down and taught people witchcraft, sorcery, Every secret of the angels okay um I'm gonna continue reading go for go for I have asked Yahuwah Savaioth respecting this perturbation of the earth who replied on account of their impiety have their innumerable judgments been consumed before me because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learned, 
The earth and those who dwell upon it will be destroyed. And that to these there will be no refuge forever. They have discovered secrets, those who have been judged. But not you, my son. Yahuwah Sabaoth knows that you are pure and good from the reproach of, of secrets. He, the Holy One, will establish your name in the midst of the Kodeshim and will guard you from those who dwell upon the earth. He will establish your seed in righteousness for kings and for great glory and from your seed shall spring forth righteousness and holy men without number forever. <clears throat> Imagine being Noah before the flood. How crazy everybody thought he was. America falling. We serving Yahuwah. This is the camp of Yahuwah. This is the camp of Yahuwah. The whole 50 states. No longer shall it be called America. Camp of Yahuwah is this land. And all wickedness should perish from it. Chapter 66. After this, he showed me the angels of punishment who were prepared to come and to open all the mighty waters under the earth that they may be for judgment and for destruction of all those who remain and dwell on the earth. And Yahuwah Sabaoth commanded the angels who went forth not to take up and guard and guard them for those angels are over the mighty waters. Then I went out from the presence of Enoch. Chapter 67. In those days, the word of Elohim came to me and said, be, and said, Noah, behold, your lot has ascended up to me, a lot void of crime, a lot beloved and upright. Now then, the angels are making a wooden structure structure but when they proceed to this, I will put my hand upon it and guard it. The seed of life shall arise from it and change shall take place. That the dry land shall not left be empty. <clears throat> I will establish your seed before me forever and ever. And the seed of those who dwell with you on the surface of the earth. It shall be blessed and multiplied in the presence of the earth in the name of Yahuwah. And they shall confine those angels who disclosed impiety and that burning valley, which at first my great grandfather Enoch showed me in the West, where there were mountains of gold and silver and iron, of fluid metal and of tin, I beheld that valley in which there was great retribution, and the waters were troubled. And when all this was affected from the fluid mass of the fire, and troubled and troubled them in that place, there arose a strong smell of sulfur which became mixed with the waters in the valley of the angels who have been guilty of seduction burned underneath its soil. Through that valley also rivers of fire were flowing to which those angels shall be condemned who seduced the inhabitants of the earth. And in those days shall these of the earth Shall these waters be to kings and to princes, to the exalted, and to the inhabitants of the earth for the healing of the soul and of the body, and for the judgment of the spirit, Ruach? Their Ruachoth spirits shall be full of lust. They may be judged in their bodies, that they may be judged in their bodies. 
because they have denied Yahuwah Sevaoth. They have perceived they and they perceive their condemnation day to day. They believe not in his name. Oh Father Yahuwah. There is none powerful but you. And as the inflammation of their bodies shall be great, so shall their ruachos undergo a change forever. Oh my goodness, they're gonna be putrid. For no word which is uttered before Yahuwah Savayo shall be in vain. Every word we speak, we shall give account. Judgment has come upon them because they trusted in their carnal revelry. They trusted in their flesh and denied Yahuwah Sabaoth. And it's not what the Christian church makes this out to believe. The Christian church is literally a shamakery. It is a foolish carnival to which first they just drain the people of all substance of their money, of their common sense, of everything. In those days shall the waters of the valley be changed. For when the angel shall be judged, then shall the heat of those springs of water experience an, al an alteration. And when the angels shall ascend, the waters of the springs again shall undergo a change and be frozen. Then I heard holy Michael answering and saying, This judgment which with which the angels shall be judged shall be shall bear testimony against the kings, the princes, and those who possess the earth. For these waters of judgment shall be for their healing and for the de and for death. It shall be for healing and for death of their bodies. But they shall not perceive and believe that the waters will be changed and become a fire which shall blaze forever. They shall not perceive, they shall not understand nor believe that the waters will be changed and become a fire which shall blaze forever. Chapter 68. One second, because I got to understand this a little bit. Jumping into chapter 68. After this, he gave me the characteristical marks of all the secret secret things in the sefer of my great-grandfather Enoch. So now this is about Noah. Excuse me. And in the parables which had been given to him, inserting them for me among the words of the Sefer of Parables. At that time, Holy Michael answered and said to Raphael, the power of the Ruach hurries me away and impels me on the severity of, judge, of the judgment of the secret judgment of the angels who is capable of endurance of what that severe judgment which has taken place and been made permanent without being melted at the sight of it of it again holy michael answered and said to holy raphael i think it says that because i think there are fallen angels with the with um that have the same name too. I think I read there was a so yeah so different angels different angels who is there whose heart is not softened by it whose mind is not troubled at this thing and I do have to check again for I do have to check but just clearing that up just in case judgment has gone forth against them by those who have thus dragged them away that and that was when they stood in the presence of Yahuwah Sabaoth in like manner also 
Holy Raphael said to Raphael, they shall not be before the eye of Yahuwah, since Yahuwah Savayoth has been offended with them. For like Adonim, fathers, Adonim, Adonai, his father, have they conducted themselves. So they conducted themselves like they were like the father, like Yahuwah, right? Therefore, he will bring upon them a secret judgment forever and ever. For neither shall angel nor man receive a portion of it, but they alone shall receive their own judgment forever and ever. Okay, so it's saying to these angels, to these angels that... So, you know, like in the beginning, if you... In the beginning of Enoch, when it's talking about how the angels came down and taught these things. They had chiefs and captains over them. So the ones that initiated it, their punishment, I don't know if it's saying their punishment is going to be worse than everyone. It's going to be worse than hell. I don't know what's worse than hell. But it's going to be worse than everyone else. It says, For neither shall angel nor man receive a portion of it, but they alone shall receive their own judgment forever and ever. Right, this secret, this secret punishment that they're gonna have, right? Yeah, okay. Chapter sixty nine. After this judgment, they shall be astonished and irritated. <clears throat> so astonished is like wow, right? And irritated. Everybody know what that means. For it shall be exhibited to the inhabitants of the earth. Behold, the names of those angels, these are their names. The first is Shemias, the second, I don't know how to say it, the third, Armin, the fourth, Kakabal, the fifth, Turl, the we ain't name, we ain't reading all their names, the eighth, the ninth, the 10th, the 11th, the name is Armors, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, dang, the 20th, for we know in total there were 20 angels, but I guess this is the captains, the 21st, These are the chief of their angels. So there's 21 chiefs, right? And if there's 21 chiefs and there's 200 total, one of them had to be like the head head. So there's 20. So one was over a hundred and one had to be, oh, one. no, no, no. One was over tens. So they were small rankings. There was like a company of angels. Um, a company is about a hundred. So like two companies, like a battalion. And the names of the leaders of their hundreds and the leaders of their fifties. Oh, I should have just kept reading. <clears throat> and the leaders of their tens the name of the first, it was he who ascended, it was he who seduced the sons of the holy angels. It was he that seduced the sons of the holy angels. Oh my goodness, it keeps saying this. Okay, so the sons of the holy angels. So the holy angels had sons. So it wasn't the first ones. So this is what's hard for me to understand. Because in my brain, my brain doesn't comprehend that angels have children, but this is what it keeps saying, okay? So, going by what it's saying, the sons of the holy angels, but how did they have children? 
if they don't re do they do they reproduce without like do they pre reproduce asexually or something i don't know anyways the says the sons of the the sons of the holy angels who seduced all the sons of the holy angels it doesn't say it seduced the sons of elohim it says it seduced the sons of the angels and it says that multiple places um so like that's what it be talking about when you be having these kids on earth talking about they were from Mars and there was a war on their planet. This is what they're talking about. And some of the things they're fooling you, they are not here for peace. They are here to work the plan of the devil. And I don't understand that. Like, are they reincarnated angels? Because all of the seed of the angels were destroyed. Right? So they have to be this. They have to be. Like, but then how did the angels learn to come through people? Okay, anyways. Anyways, that's just some of the things in my mind. Because I'll be thinking about worldly things. I'll be studying scripture. It's very interesting when you get into it. Okay, anyways. After this judgment, they shall be astonished and irritated. Okay, no, no, not right there. Okay. The name of the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was he who seduced all the sons of the holy angels. So this is the one that thought he was bad, right? And wanted to, that got all of the, the holy angels to fight against Yahoo. I'm going to keep reading because it's going to describe itself anyways. What am I doing? Okay. Who seduced all the sons of the holy angels and causing them to descend on earth, led astray the offspring of men, right? <clears throat> so he has the highest punishment because he led rebellion, right? The name of the second... Who pointed out evil counsel to the sons of the holy angels. Okay. So he taught evil counsel to the sons of the holy angels. This is blowing my mind. Father Yahoo, I don't understand. But what need do I need to understand that the angels have children? That's what it says. I don't understand though. Okay, anyways. And induce them to corrupt their bodies by generating mankind. The name of the third Okay, no. So his name isn't Gabriel. It's Gad Gadriel. Gadriel. So that's uh, yeah. I'll be a little dyslexic sometime. I probably thought it was Gabriel. So yeah. So they have names that sound similar. But we're going to keep going and we will see. That's probably what I was reading last time and I probably didn't realize it was a D. Because I realize I mean, I'm a little dyslexic for some reason. He discovered every stroke of death to the children of men. He taught war. He destroyed how to kill. Where to hit, you know, like, you know, if you hit somebody in the forehead, you could, like, he taught all of that to the sons of men. And then the coat of mail, the shield and the sword for slaughter and every instrument of death to the children of men. So he taught weaponry and all of that. From his hand were derived to them who dwell on earth from that period forever. <clears throat> so there is, he is the angel that is over, that is over all that. We have people killing and stuff on earth with these weapons and stuff. He is the spirit that is, that is provoking these individuals um, that study that study his his ways right and he is not a god though people worship him as the god of war he is a fallen angel disobedient child that is going to hell right the name of the fourth is we don't care he discovered the children he discovered to the children of men bitterness and sweetness and pointed out to them every secret of their wisdom every secret of their wisdom so they already had the wisdom but he distorted it and I don't completely understand this he taught them to understand writing and in ink and paper therefore numerous have been those who have gone astray from every period to the world even to this day, for men were not born for this. Thus with pen and with ink, 
to confirm their beliefs. Excuse me. Since they were not created, except that like the angels, they might remain righteous and pure. Nor would death, which destroys everything, have affected them. But by this, their knowledge, they perish, and by also this, power consumes. So it says, had we not this understanding, death would not preside over us. Um, but it says, since they were not created, except that like the holy angels, they might remain righteous and pure. I don't fully understand all of this. Some of this is new information to me. Keep studying and keep reading because obviously not all writing is bad now. So the most high, I did read it said the most high is forgiven some of these things. Use. I'm going to keep reading and see what scripture say. That's what we do about everything. We don't just go by what we, what we think. We read scripture and we pray about it. Right. The name of the fifth and we don't care. He discovered to the children of men every wicked stroke of the Ruach and of devils. So he taught people how to how to strike the spirit and something about devils. The stroke to the embryo in the womb to kill it. Abortion. He taught abortion. That solves that. The stroke to the Ruach by the bite of the serpent and the midday stroke of the offspring of the serpent, the name of which is, we don't care. This is the number of the something, the prince, the principal part of the oath, which El Elyon dwelling in glory revealed to the holy ones. Its name is Becca. He spoke to holy Michael to discover to them the secret name that they might understand that secret name and thus remember the oath and that those who pointed out every secret thing to the children of men might tremble at the name of the oath. So he's speaking something that only the angels understand that they might tremble when they heard it. This is the power of that oath for powerful it is and strong. And he established this oath of Ake by the instrumental, the instrumentality, instrumental it. I don't understand why the it is there. Instrumental it. What does that mean? Well, instrumental. I don't know why it has it y at the end. Of the holy Michael, they are the. Secrets of this oath. These are the secrets of this oath. And by it were they confirmed. Heaven was suspended by it. Heaven is suspended by this secret oath. Held in place. Before the world was made forever. By it has the earth been founded upon the flood. While from the concealed parts of the hills, the agitated waters proceed forth from the creation to the end of the world. By this oath, the sea has been formed in the foundation of it. During the period of its fury, he established the sand against it, which continues unchanged forever. By this oath... The abyss has been made strong. 
nor is it removable from its station forever and ever. By this oath, the sun and moon complete their progress, never swerving from the command to them forever and ever. By this oath, the stars complete their progress, and when their names are called, they return and answer forever and ever. Thus the heavens have the blowing of the winds of all all of them have ruachos, all of them have spirits, and are complete combination of breathings, and are complete combination of breathings. There the treasures of thunder are kept, and the splendor of the lightning. There are kept the treasures of hail and frost, the treasures of snow, the treasures of rain and dew, all these confess and laud before Yahuwah Sabaoth. They glorify with all their power and praise, and he sustains them in all thanksgiving. <clears throat> While they laud, glorify, and exalt the name of Yahuwah Sabaoth forever and ever. Praise Yahuwah. And with them he establishes this oath by which they and their paths are preserved, nor does their progress perish. Great was their joy. They blessed, glorified, and exalted because the name of the son of Adam was revealed to them. He sat upon the throne of his glory, and the principal part of the judgment was assigned to him. The son of Adam Sinners shall disappear and perish from the face of the earth. Sinners shall disappear and die from the face of the earth. They lied to you in these churches. We serve Yahuwah in these last days. As in the days of Noah, so shall it be in these days. The wicked are going to disappear and the land will be left to the righteous. That's what scripture says. Read it. Get right today. While those who seduce them shall be bound with chains forever. According to their ranks of corruption shall they be imprisoned. And all their works shall disappear from the face of the earth. Nor thenceforth forward shall there be any, any to corrupt. For the son of Adam has been seen sitting on the throne of his glory. Everything wicked shall disappear. America shall disappear and fall down. This is what I'm saying to you. And this is what I'm trying to get to. The wicked will disappear out of the world. We are not supposed to be worshiping pastors, people. The only men that we serve is our husband. Right? And it's, again, not like scripture makes it out to be. We are to keep our husband's law. You do have a choice in that. You have a choice before you get married. As you get to know your husband and best friend, which he shall be, if his laws fit you or not. And if not, that is when you say, nah, this is not for me. But if you agree with his law and you make that covenant oath, now you are bound to your husband's law. And he cannot just break and change that oath. Then you need to pray to your father, Yahuwah, and Yahuwah will correct him. And this is how we live in the land, right? Um, This is how we live in the land. And these marriage ceremonies is not a scripture. Scripture, when the consummation, when you make everything final is when you do your do. And that's, and then after that, that's how you, that's how you make the covenant. Scripture says, if a virgin lays with a man, she does no wrong. Right? Um, as long as the man now does his part and provides, you are supposed to provide. Your woman is not a gold digger. You are her provider. That is what you do. You provide for her. That is your job. Yes, she is your help me, but it is your job as a head to provide. Talk about gold diggers. No, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to be a husband. A husbandman provides. Read scripture. It's in there. It tells you what you're supposed to do. It is the book to parenting. To how you supposed to be a husband, to how you supposed to be a wife, to how you supposed to work, to your holidays, to your to all of that. You gotta study. So yes, America dead. Camp of Yahuwah instead. Okay. Um that was a little 
I don't know. Anyways, yes, we serve Yahuwah in this land. Study. Study and seek Yah. Um, kingdom works. Not working for the devil world. Kingdom works. It's about to be a new way. Wisdom rising up in the land. Yahuwah said sinners are going to disappear from the earth. So, Yahuwah said do not kill or you will be killed by the sword. Do not lead into... Do not lead anybody into slavery or you will be led into slavery. This is what we do in these last days. We serve Yahuwah and do kingdom works. You see COVID and all that going on is not global warming. It is Yahuwah and he will continue. He will continue to get rid of the wicked in the land. All you got to do is be happy and serve Yahuwah and praise him and endure and make it. We are going to go through trials and tribulations. The Most High is going to give power to his saints Excuse me, to set apart ones first. After that, the Antichrist shall come, who is already here but has not publicly made himself known yet, and will make war with us, the set apart ones, but will fail. Some of us will die, but will be raising the rose again in the last days and partake in everlasting life. And those are the times that we are in. Seek ye Yahuwah and live, right? Um yeah don't kill nobody don't don't steal none of that right now we ain't we ain't paying rent forever at some point this land is ours right um just trust yahoo everything wicked shall disappear and depart from before his face and the word of the son of adam shall become powerful in the presence of yahoo sevayo this is the third parable of Shanak. After this, the name of the son of Adam living with Yahuwah Sabaoth was exalted, lifted up by the inhabitants of the earth. The people of the earth exalted and lifted up Yahuwah. We serve Yahuwah in this land. We don't worship no flag. We ain't pledging no allegiance to no flag. That man liberty, he gonna fall. Um, praise Yahuwah in this land, right? We praise Yahuwah in this land. It was exalted in the chariot of the spirit, Ruach, and the name went forth in the midst of them from that time. I was not drawn into the midst of them, but he seated me between two, Ruach, two Ruachos, two spirits, between the north and the west, where the angels received their ropes to measure out a place for the elect and the righteous. There I beheld the fathers of the first men and the Kodeshim who dwell in that place forever. Praise Yahuwah. Um, yeah. So, America, no, it does not serve our Father. What you need to do to serve our Father is pray, study, and live for Him. Don't serve anybody but your husband. Now, that doesn't mean you don't help your brother or sister out, right? You don't serve anybody. You don't get all of your information from anybody but the book of Yahuwah, right? It's where you get your wisdom from. Um, if you are reading the Christian Bible, know that names were changed and some things were changed. But as you study and pray, if that's where you are, the Most High will lead you, right? If you're on that milk, the, it's a, bit, a little bit tainted like Similac, the Most High will still lead you to, to meet, right? You just got to pray and seek, right? You got to pray and seek. After I left Christianity, I was I was... Praying and seeking. I didn't know what was what. And the Most High led me. Led me to what was truth. Right? I read a little bit about. You know. Um, Nefertiti. Whatever her name is. And all of that. And. Very very quickly the Most High showed me that it was not true. 
and certain things like that. And if that's where you are still at, keep searching, keep studying. Don't get offended and stop studying and seeking the most high. But if it ain't feeling right, let it go. If it ain't feeling right, let it go. Right? If it's the most high, will answer you. Seek Yahuwah in this land. He is our king. He is alive and able. The reason why you're not succeeding in your efforts is because Yahuwah is not in them. He's not in them. This world is not for him. But we going to serve him. And we going to live for him. And praise Yahuwah next time. Um, see you. I pray y'all are seeking the most high. Having kingdom conversations. Studying on your on your own. We are students of the good book. Um, One second. I want to read one thing in the book of... Oh, praise Yahuwah. Opened it right... That's how you know Yahuwah... Opened it right up. I believe I opened it right up because to the right place. Let me see. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I opened it right up on accident by me, but on purpose by the most high where I needed to, to read because um, the most high, right? So, I'm going to read um, the book of First John chapter 2, verse 20 through um, 29. And you should go back and read the whole chapter for yourself. But this is what I'm saying. We are students of the Holy Spirit. And by that, you're not just, you're not students of our own mind. We're students of the Holy Spirit. So you have to read scripture for the Holy Spirit to lead you. So that you can understand and hear when he is talking to you. Right? But we are students. And we're not students of pastors. We are not students of each other. The Holy Spirit is with us and teaches us all things. And those are not my words, but we have to get into that. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know the truth and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he that denies that Yahuwah, that Yahusha is Hamashiach. That Yahusha is the Messiah. A liar is he who says that Yahusha is not the Messiah, right? In your Christian Bibles, they change this to say Jesus Christ. He is anti-Messiah that denies the Father and the Son. Whosoever denies the Son. So if you truly think Jesus is the Savior, pray and ask the Most High to show you who he is and he will lead you. You don't got to be convinced by anybody else. I'm not here like, yeah, he's the... He's not, I know it, but you as a child of the most high who he loves, seek that out. He will answer you, right? Because we are here to love each other and correct each other in love. Seek that out. Pray about it. Call out to him and see what he said, right? Kai used to think that was his name too. Whosoever denies the son, the same has not the father, but he that acknowledges the son has the father also. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise. Oh my goodness, it's the Shabbat. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's the Shabbat. I cannot go cook right now. I'm not about to go cook. I'm about to go eat whatever is already prepared. And this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. So believe in eternal life. Many people think, many Christians don't understand the death process. We're going to rise again. This is appointed to men to die once. After that, you hear the after that, judgment and resurrection. Resurrection and judgment, Right? We're going to live again. I know people be so sad and hurt, understandably, that their loved ones died. And I understand I had to go through that at a really young age. Like, when I was little, I didn't have a grandma. And all my friends had grandma because my grandma was murdered when my mom was nine years old. I didn't have a grandma. So I had to endure these things at a young age. So the things that you guys are going through, I've already overcame at a young age and I know that it is hard because I had to go through it too and I didn't understand and I didn't think it was fair and then as I was in high school 
my friends, grandparents and stuff started dying and they were going through the things that I was going through. And understandably, those are things that are hard to go through and it does take time to get through. And it took me time to get through it. But I understand that they will be, they will be again. Now, are they going to live forever? I hope so. I don't know that. I never met the lady. I'm going to continue to jump back up in here. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which you have received of him, of the Father, abides within you. The Spirit is within you. The Spirit of Yahuwah is within us. And you need not that any man teach you. Now they chop this up and force you to believe that it means something else in Christianity. It says, it says, lean not to our own understanding. This is what it says, verbatim. Ye, and you need not that any man teach you. You don't need anybody to teach you. You don't need that. You don't need it. Hold on, where am I at? But the same anointing teaches you of all things. The, abide, the anointing that you received from Yahuwah, his Ruach, his spirit that he has placed within you, teaches you everything. Right? Teaches you all things. And this, true, and this is truth, it is no lie. And even as it has taught you, ye shall abide in him. Abide in the spirit. How do you abide in the spirit? By reading and studying. I don't make this stuff up on my own. I'm not saying hot breath. I'm just telling y'all what I feel like. This is what I've studied. In this land, Camp of Yahuwah, formerly we ain't going to say it no more because it's dead and gone away with it. In this land, Camp of Yahuwah, um, we serve Yahuwah. And there's nobody over us teaching us. We don't need that. Now, is it necessary sometimes? Because now, because you guys aren't studying on your own and going to other men, this is just a message to let you know that you need to study on your own. And when we talk, we fellowship with each other. And this should be information that you have already read and studied so that we are on a common ground. And it's not a class. It's a conversation. We should have conversations with each other. We should not have classes. I teach my children. Pass a parent's job to teach them. Why am I just like getting a sweet tooth right now? Okay, anyways. I teach my children. You teach your children. Yes, your husband. You learn in your family setting. The husband, the wife, read scripture, teach the children. And you guys have that relationship with the most high. Who is this president? Where in the scripture it say you supposed to have presidences at? It don't. I messed that up on purpose. Um, it's not how you're supposed to be living. So boldly, boldly going back to the way of the most high, right? And getting rid of all fears because they make it like, oh, it's starting a cult. No, we're living in a cult. America is a cult. Christianity is a cult. The world is in a whole cult right now. And y'all can't even see it. No, we ain't supposed to be living like that. Right? Your husband is supposed to serve Yahuwah. It's supposed to be a loving family. You guys are supposed to work together. Raise your children. Put out put out what your family has to offer in the world for the kingdom of Yahuwah. Like if your family, if your family is formers, right? Do your little forming job, right? Have y'all little stand out. Like our family, we gonna do Yahuwah willing, we're gonna do, we're gonna help homeless people. That's what I wanna do. That's what I wanted to do my whole life. My daughter wants to help animals that's what she want to do and she wants to be a football player so that's what we're going to do so we'll have where we'll be doing that right um for the kingdom of yahuwah right oh my goodness hold on one second for the kingdom of yahuwah and the holy spirit we'll bring it together in the way that it works as we study and each person in their house is seeking the most high and not ruling and dictating over each other and the only thing we make sure of is that Ain't nobody killing, stealing, nothing like that. And then, right, right? That's how we living in the land. Uh, but we are students. 
We are students of righteousness. But I'm looking here. But the anointing which you have received, and the anointing is the spirit of Yahuwah, of him abides in you. And that's in scripture too. I'm not making that up. It says that the spirit of Yahuwah dwells in us, that our bodies are the temple of Yahuwah. That these churches and the spirit, that Ruach of Yahuwah is dwells within us and is trying us. As we're making decisions, you feel that in your chest? That's the spirit of Yahuwah discerning you. And when you go to, before Yahuwah on that day of judgment, your spirit is going to cry out either for you or against you. And that is scriptural. We got to study Right? So the Holy Spirit is within us teaching us these things. And I, I wonder if I can find... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to read that to you also. I'm going to read that to you also because it's in my folder. And you need not that any man teach you, but the same anointing which teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. And now little children abide in him. That when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that does righteousness is born of him. Everyone that does righteousness is born of Yahuwah, right? So even like these people who sin, because we all fall side of glory, that have sinned and transformed their bodies to opposite sex. When they come to and realize that they have sinned and turn to righteousness, they may be redeemed also. But right now, they are in lust, in confusion, and that ain't to hurt nobody. But that is truth. Um, yeah. And it's because we have all made our own mistakes. We have all done things and have fallen shy of glory, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, one second, where's my, <laughs> okay, yeah, words of affirmation, this is my, okay, so 1 Corinthians 3.16, do you not know that you are the temple of Yahuwah and that the Ruach Yahuwah dwells within you, the spirit of Yahuwah dwells within us, our body is the temple, get your house in order, get your body in order, Right? I started off getting my house in order. And Yahuwah made me homeless. And I was thinking, like, how am I supposed to get my house in order? Right? And then I was reading the scripture, and I came across this. I was wrong. I'm trying to set my house up real nice, and that's in it too, right? But that means nothing if your body is not in order. You have to get your body in order, right? If any man defiles the temple of Yah, Yahuwah will also destroy that person. Because the temple of Yahuwah is holy, and that temple is you. Clear and plain and simple. The Holy Spirit is within you. People, I'll be telling people, Yahuwah is with us. He's in us. And they be looking at me like, she's speaking blasphemy. When really, they're just not studying. They'd be like, oh, like man, man. You got to study, right? But there you hear it. We are the temple of Yahuwah. His Holy Spirit, when he, our spirit... Is the breath of his life, right? Our bodies have no life in it without the breath. And that breath is the spirit of Yahuwah. Just like your fingerprint is individual, each breath that he put in each person is like a fingerprint individual. He gave it its own consciousness, right? Excuse me. Seek Yahuwah in this land. The spirit is within you, right? You study, you read scripture, you read his word. Parents are under, I mean, not parents, children are under the governance of their parents, who Yahuwah gave them to. Um, and wives are under the governance of Yahuwah and their husband. And that is it. And that is how we live in the land of Yahuwah. And we praise Yahuwah all day long. And he brings the blessings and the tidings. Peace out. Camp of Yahuwah. Serve ye him in the land. And don't be worshiping the world.